sentado en el banco, aquí es de bar, intimidamente te invito a bailar y tú, sonriendo, aceptándome. Hey, hey, hey. Bailamos bachata, merengue, bolero, chocando dos cuerpos, hablamos bajito así. Cupido flecharo me. Eh, eh, eh. Ya para que te yo me acostumbra a ti en un solo día. Today, I would like to go over two verbs. A star, which means to be, and ser, which means to be. Now, you would say, well, if they both mean to be, what is the difference? And this is where we get to the explanation. Conectando culturas a través del lenguaje, creando solidaridad. As I said, we have the verb estar, which means to be. For example, como estas, tú. And I like to put this, point this out here, which is a colloquial way to hear como estas tú. Certain areas, certain people, when they speak the language, sometimes the S, the S say, gets, gets eaten as they say. So, you will hear, ¿Cómo está? Or, ¿Cómo está tú? Or, ¿Cómo está? Mira, que lo que, mi gente, ¿Cómo está? If it's, instead of, ¿Cómo estás tú? Don't let, ¿Cómo está? confuse you. A little colloquial Spanish to help people get the little edge in understanding native speakers. So, as I said, the verb estar means to be, which is a conditional term. Like, if I say, hey, how are you? You will say, I am fine. ¿Cómo estás tú? Estoy bien. Estar is an irregular verb, so that means it does not fit the traditional conjugation of verb conjugations. Yo estoy, I am. Tú estás, you are. Él, ella, usted está. He, she, you, Formal, and in English we don't have formal, but you formal is addressing people of authority, your parents, your grandparents, or someone you give a lot of respect to. Está, you are. Nosotros estamos. We are. Vosotros estáis. One more time. Vosotros estáis, which means you all are. Now, I have vosotros in red highlighted different because most of the time you're only going to hear vosotros using the Iberian Peninsula. And what was the Iberian Peninsula called a long time ago? I'll let you figure that out and maybe you can answer in the comment box below. But anyway, the Iberian Peninsula now is called Spain, España. But again, you only hear that used over in Spain. So you won't hear it in Central America, South America, or in the Caribbean when people are speaking their Spanish. Ellos, ellas, ustedes están. That means they are, they, masculine plural, they, feminine plural. Ustedes, you are, formal plural, are. One more time. Ellos están, ellas están, ustedes están. For example, if I'm addressing my parents, I will say, ustedes están. I would not say, vosotros estáis. Okay? All right. Now. Okay. Now, as I said, we have two verbs, which means to be. Estar and ser. If you take a look at the board, we have ser, which means to be. And that means to be on more of a permanent sense. To be is place of origin, material made, uh, profession. For example, yo soy alto, I am tall. You don't say yo estoy alto because barring natural occurrences, I will not change my height. You could say yo soy abogado, I am a lawyer. In this case, Yo soy el maestro Mayimbe. I am a teacher. Okay, so, yo soy, I am, tú eres, you are, 
Él, ella, usted, es. He, she, you, formal, is. Nosotros somos. We are. And again, vosotros sois. You all are. Ellos, ellas, ustedes son. They, masculine. They, feminine. You all are. In the plural form. Your homework is going to be to use the verb ser and estar and come up with your own examples to describe yourself, where you're from, your professional occupation, or even if you don't have a professional occupation, make something up. Make it easy on yourself. Use it in everyday life. Now, what I'm going to do is give you a quick morismo, an idiom. Okay, now if you pay attention to the board, we have un morismo, an idiom. Ser listo. Now, I know what you're thinking. Hold on, hold on, hold on. It should be estar listo. Por ejemplo, if you say estoy listo, means I am ready. Okay, but like I said, this is an idiom. Modismo. So, ser listo means to be clever. So, if I want to say my brother is clever. Mi hermano es listo. My sister is clever. Mi hermana es lista. I want you to take the two verbs, estar and ser, and use them to describe yourself. Use your everyday examples. And don't forget, people talk in modismos, idioms, and use ser listo, which means to be clever, and use that in a expression, oh, sorry, not an expression, and use that in a phrase to say something about somebody. Okay. Because in this class, we're only going to say nice things. We're not going to say any bad words. Yeah.